Yo, today is September 29th, 2013, and this is my YouTube 7th anniversary video. It's going to be a really short video because I don't really have that much to say. Well, to be fair, I do have a lot to say, but I want to save the more important stuff for, like, outside of YouTube because I may plan to do them as audio recordings and then provide them to you guys when I do my updates because, to be fair, it's been seven long years. Seven years is a rather long time, believe me. And I know it's worth every bit of it because, to be fair, I enjoyed it despite some problems along the way. At least... You're you guys are going to know that I'm not going anywhere. I'm not quitting. I'm not doing any of that junk. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep making my channel be as better than before. And it takes each and every one of you to make a difference. Trust me. It really does. So I do have some topics I want to address. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And all right. Have fun. Okay, first up is some 7th anniversary shoutouts. Now, I'm only going to give out four because one of them is actually a special thanks. The reason why, it's, I figured it would be it. So, let's get started. First up is SLO Plays, and this guy is a very underrated YouTuber. He's doing Mario Luigi Dream Team, but his channel has sort of slowed down because of school, which I respect that a lot. He has also done Pokemon White 2 and has done a lot of Nintendo related footage, believe me. He's really looking forward to Pokemon X and Y, and I know I am too, and many others. So, if you guys have the chance, check him out. You won't be disappointed. Oh yeah, his most recent video, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Limited Edition Unboxing. And let me tell you, I'm a big fan of Zelda, so yeah, you should check it because it's just that awesome. Anyway, next up is someone that I owe from a long time it's a really good friend jake pro victini and i owe jake a lot since he's done a lot of pokemon related footage but his channel seems to have well sputtered i don't know why but maybe that's because of how youtube changes and everything and it's killing motivation from time to time believe me if i were you i recommend you check him out and show your support your support really does matter i'm not kidding it really does matter Believe me, I do this because I am a good friend of his and I really enjoy his content. I'm not lying, I really do enjoy it. So, if you get the chance, check him out. He's very good and he's also going to be doing X and Y, so make sure you watch him too. And finally, the last one. This one, I owe somebody a lot. Curse Keyblade 1. And this guy has done level 1 runs of Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix, especially in proud mode, and that takes mad balls. I'm not kidding. It takes mad balls for him to do that, and I'm amazed. Ashamed he's not getting enough viewership, because to be honest, this guy deserves a lot more views, especially for pulling stuff like this on proud mode. That is crazy. I'm not kidding at all. I really like what he's doing. That's just epic. So if you get a chance, check him out. See all his runs and see just how epic they are. I'm not kidding at all. And the last one, I would like to give special thanks to the people at Red Soup Parade because I was in their podcast a, a while back and it was truly a lot of fun to do. I'm not kidding. It really was a lot of fun to do. i like to give special thanks to Slow Beef and The Beatus for having me in their podcast. I forgot there was one other person, I think. It, she was, I believe. Yeah, she had a Pokemon hack, but I forgot her name. So if you guys know, tell me, because I really want to know. Anyway, my special thanks goes out to Red Soup Parade for having me in their podcast, and I really look forward to being at their podcast again. Believe me, because this time I actually got a lot to say. And yes, I will be doing my review of the Great Gatsby movie, but I'm taking things a little different. Why? Because I want to at least compare it to a lot of other things that have happened such as the Nintendo versus Let's Players thing. That happened a few months ago. I'm going to be focusing on that. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you like their content. Check everyone out, and especially Red Super A from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys for helping me reach 10K subs, and I hope I can reach even higher than before. That's all there is to it. Okay, this is the last topic that I have for the time being. So this one regards to all the game releases that are going to happen in the month of October. Make sure you get a good look, because if you have any games that are of interest, you'll pretty much check them out. The games that I'm going to be doing in the month of October are Pokemon X and Y and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Now, I know that Sonic Lost World is supposed to be released on the 22nd, but it got delayed to the 29th. Just saying. 
And I know a lot of people are looking forward to Batman Arkham Origins. And Arkham Origins is going to be a highly anticipated game. Though, even though the month of October is going to be big, it's nothing compared to the month of November. I'm not kidding at all. Trust me, I'm not. Believe me. If you don't believe me, look it up and you'll see just how big November is going to be. Especially with the release of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One and all the launch titles that are going to be in it. And yes, PS4 gets props because they're going to have Watch Dogs as one of their launch titles. On November 15th, I will get my hands on it along with Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. I'm not kidding. And it's going to be fun. But sadly, I don't know if I'm going to be doing footage for, I believe, the PS4 because... Since I don't have a capturing device that can record in HD, I'm in trouble. But if anyone has like something that can, they're more than welcome to donate. I'm not begging, I'm just optionally saying. So, take a look at the list, let me know what you're looking forward to, and that's, that's it. Sorry, just, I don't really have that much else to say, so, meh, whatever. And last but not least, there is one last thing I want to say. Sure, my channel isn't the best that some people would consider, but at least I'm trying. At least I take the time to answer every comment, every reply, every PM, etc. Because I'm the type of person that wants to listen to every single one of you. I'm not like some bigger people who don't. I take the time to do so. But I don't know how long this channel is going to last. So I'm going to say this right here and now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not quitting. I'm going to keep on going. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I want to make my channel bigger, but I need your help to make it work. So, if you enjoy what I do, please make sure to take the time to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Google+, I don't care. It only helps getting my channel better if there's more word of mouth. I'm trying to be positive, and that's all there is. But pretty soon, I'm going to have to get me a job, and I may have to put this behind. If it ever happens... I, you guys will be the first to know. So I'm going to end this video here with two songs that I think are quite appropriate since with Pokemon Generation 5 nearing its end, I'd figure why not. Thanks for watching, enjoy the music, and thank you for seven long years of YouTube. Thank you.